Welcome to the VFX show, the show on the internet that teaches you how to do visual effects for your next film. And today I'm going to teach you how I did a visual effect for my latest movie, The Puppet Master. In my latest short film, The Puppet Master, I wrote that two characters were in an imperial base. I knew I didn't have the money to actually build a set, uh, so I knew I had to green screen it and create a virtual set in the computer. So here is my process of blending the two and making a realistic uh, virtual set that can be in your next movie. Alright, so here's the original. Uh, this is my final, sorry. And um, before I even um, started with the shooting this, I did it in uh, 3DS Max first. I 3D modeled it with the star pack from uh, Element 3D. Um, the reason why I model it before was because I could figure out how to film it and how to light it. So I had some lights in the background and the foreground wasn't very lit so I knew to keep that in consideration. So I made sure how high my camera was and how far my camera was uh, from everything. And I added uh, the focal length of 45 and made sure all of that was correct while filming. Then I rendered it out using V-Ray, very good uh, rendering software. Once I did that, I uh, filmed it with the correct lighting-ish, and I did this in my garage with a crappy small green screen, so you can tell how much money went into this. Then I added Denoiser to the shot. Now Denoiser does this thing where it, you know, they see all that little green grain on the camera. Uh, you can, it removes all of that so you can um, green screen it a lot better and you'll get a finer key. Then I... Uh, put a nice looking key light on there and I made sure to pre-compose the image with the denoiser because denoiser won't let you key light um, if you have denoiser above it so you pre-compose that then I adjusted the clip white the, the screen color and the clip black and of course the softness and the shrink row you know the drill you've used this probably a billion times <clears throat> but something I always do is make sure that my replace method is set to source. That gives you a finer looking uh, image, I believe. Um, then I positioned it correctly, and I went into 3ds Max and put some, you know, little skeleton dudes and figured out kind of the rough placement of how everything was, and that's how I replaced everything. Then I adjusted the character based on the render I did. Um, which is nice. Then I added a tint, so uh, below the levels, so I can still have some color there. It's it's and that's uh, nice. And then I did the same exact thing to the character in the foreground, but of course adding a camera blur to it. Then uh, whenever he's behind um, the doors, I added um, you know a little mask. Then I added a glow uh, and adjusted it. Uh, to, to ha make it more interesting with the colors. Then I added some letterboxing mm -hmm. and I graded it all with uh, a plugin called Film Convert. Adjusting the saturation, the shadows, the midtones, the highlights, and that's pretty much it. And that's kind of how I did that. Then I added a little blur to the background to make it all tie in. <clears throat> 